All right, guys, this is Vijay, your host. So today we are going to talk about that uh, Cisco ECI 6.0 with the VMM integration new features. So till six, Cisco 5.x version, the, the VMM integration was supported with the, you know, various hypervisors such as, uh, you know, uh, let me give the walkthrough of it. Uh, it was supporting with the Kubernetes, you know, uh, OpenShift, OpenStack and uh, Microsoft, it had all these things. Now after 6.0 version, which I have this version is 6. Sorry. This is 6.0 version. And in this particular version, uh, the, the Nutanix is the one option which has been integrated along with the 6.x version. And in this 6.x version, we do have the Nutanix which has been integrated with the uh, ACI as a VMM domain. Now, if you take a look here, I have an environment where I have a VMM integration as well as I have a Nutanix option. In the Nutanix also, I have a Nutanix integration. What is the difference between them? Like if you see that I have a you know VMM integration with the two vCenter where I have a you know hybrid cloud vCenter and vCenter environment or VM VMware environment. Along with that, I have a Nutanix tab. In the Nutanix tab, exact same way whatever we used to configure on the uh, VMware. In the VMware, how we used to do the integration, we used to create that distributed virtual switch from the APIC and we used to integrate that vCenter with the Cisco APIC. Now, similarly here, what we do here is, uh, we have option uh, we call that Prisma Center, just like a vCenter we have Prisma Center. Prisma Center is the uh, tool which controls the all the you know your uh, Nutanix environment okay in the Nutanix environment when I say that it controls the monitoring it controls the all sort of uh, you know uh, uh, monitoring all sort of a uh, walkthrough of things it can uh, control that now if I have the uh, prism access uh, the limitation of which I have the lab is like this is the multi shared uh, a lab, it means I have just read only access. So there's two elements which I will talk about here is in the topology perspective. If you see the scenario I have here is, this is the APIC here I have. In the APIC I have a Prism uh, central and I have Prism element. Okay, these are the two things uh, we have. And we are, we are going to have the UCS, Cisco UCS. In the UCS, we have the virtual machines running on top of the, using the Nutanix uh, hypervisor. Okay, now what is the Prism element and Prism center here? So Prism element is a, a software uh, management software that run on each hypervisor cluster, each Nutanix cluster. It, it provides the management of the virtual machine, health monitoring, alert uh, with the Prism element. Uh, we can also, you know, uh, manage the VM lifecycle operation and get the detail of uh, analytic and the insights of the infrastructure performance and utilizations and handle the data protection and you know data recovery or disaster recovery task etc kind of stuff we can do that but what about the uh, prisma uh, element so prisma element is a management and data plane sorry prisma center what is the prisma center prisma center is a management and data uh, plane uh, solution that provides a centralized infrastructure management for the multiple Nutranix elements. So sup suppose you have the one EXXI and multiple EXXI, okay? One EXXI uh, equivalent to the one uh, one element, okay? If you're having multiple EXXI and you're bundling as a cluster, then you need the VMware vCenter environment, right? Similarly, here you have the uh, Prism Central, a central element that act as a vCenter for us. So what components I have? I have a Prism Center, which is the 2023 model I'm, I have running. Uh, I'm also having a, a Nutanix Prism element, which is 7.0. dot. Then I have a you know, cluster version. Then the ACI 6.0 version I have. So I will walk through the Nutanix thing. Then I will walk through the Cisco ACI, how integration I have done here is. Then I will walk through the tenant application profile, all these things. So if I you know log into the Prism Center I have, now, if it, this is the Prism Center I have, in the Prism Center, in the left side of the uh, hamburger option, you will see that uh, you have option called the dashboard. This is the dashboard it has. In the dashboard showing that currently there is one cluster and this is the storage environment. Uh, this is the latency. This is the you know IOs, 
IOPS, what is whatever is going on in that cluster. Now, if you want to check the close view of the cluster health and all these things, so there you can see that compute and notes. In the compute and storage, you have the VMs. In the VMs, these are the some VMs which uh, we have here. And these VMs have been deployed on this uh, Nutanix cluster. And this Nutanix cluster has a multiple hypervisors. When I say the hypervisor, how you can check the hypervisor. So if I say here uh, in the networking, sorry, in a cluster, hardware cluster, you will see that this is the hardware cluster I have. And in the cluster, if you see that, uh, number of the hosts are four. If you see that these are the host details we have, and I have total around uh, 18 VMs. 18 VMs I have currently over here. Now, if I go to the you know each host under and check the details, you can definitely get that all the details from here one by one. Like currently, what, what is the IP address details and on which particular platform this, this particular you know Nutanix uh, OS is running. All the details you can get here, how many you know VMs and virtual machines you have on this particular uh, hardware. Saying that currently, this machine has uh, three hardware, three uh, virtual machines, and these are the all the state of the virtual machines. So the, all the things you can get from here, like what is the subnet details you have. And in, under the subnet details, nothing is kind of what about ACI pushing the configuration into the uh, uh, of uh, Nutanix, all the details you will be finding over here. So subnet is equivalent to the your distributed virtual switch in the, your vCenter environment. Okay. So currently, if you see that uh, we are having a one virtual switch, and in that virtual switch, uh, we are getting that sub some uh, port group also. Okay. And this port group can be used for any any VM and all the environments. Now, if I go to the uh, Cisco AP, okay, and try to check that what uh, and how integration has been done for this environment. So if you'll see that I have a uh, Nutanix here. In the Nutanix, I have one controller, which is Pigeon Central, and a two, four hypervisor, and the 14 virtual machines, one, one virtual switch. If I double click on the virtual switch, which has been integrated using the dynamic pool, just same way, whatever we, you, we used to get for the uh, vCenter, exact same information you need. Like you need a, a read write access, you need a dynamic VLAN, you need a, uh, in, you know, Nutanix Prism Center, you have to select as an option. Then you have to create the, all the access policy, the attachable, attachable access profile, you know, all the interface, domain, all these things you have to do it here. Okay. So if you see that this is the details, if I go one by one, controller, controller, can be saying that offline, uh, like Prism Central, you can just, you can re trigger the option. like. Just like we do that in the vCenter, if anything happened un unexpectedly, you no, know, if something disconnection happens, something happened, you can just re-trigger the vCenter also, even for the same same way we, you know, in the Prism also, you can try to do that. What is the, how many hypervisor we have? And these are the hypervisors currently we have, and how many VMs we have on these, how many interfaces are there on the hypervisors, how many virtual machines are there, all the details you can find it from here. Okay, and if you want to create any EPG something, here all the details you can get from here. So if you compare with the vCenter integrate integration, if you say the vCenter, in the vCenter also exact same kind of things you will get that right controller in the controller section you will get that uh, vCenter information right, and inside the controller if I go you will get that how many hypervisors are there. If you see that I have here eight hypervisors, more than eight eight to ten hypervisors I have. And if you see that I have a virtual switch also, and this is the virtual switch uh, which ACI has created on that, how many port group has been created, and these are the port group which uh, we have created here. Similar way, in the Nutanix also you will get here is. Okay, now if I go to the uh, uh, tenant and uh, in the tenant, uh, how deployment has been done, it's the same way you just create the bridge domain, VRF, right? And you associate with the EPG, and under the EPG, you just call the VMM domain, right? Just like a vCenter during the VMware environment, you, we do used to do that. In the here, we used to call that now VMM domain as a Nutanix. Okay, in the Nutanix, we uh, we we try to do that. And the moment you will call the Nutanix VMM domain, it will immediately uh, push that your configuration to the to the Nutanix environment. If you select to the VMM domain as a like. VMM actual uh, 
hypervisor of the you know VMware, like vCenter, all these things. This all the configuration will create as a port group and push on the vCenter environment. So this is the major difference you will find it over here. And the concept, each and everything will be working same. Nothing different you will find over here. Right. So if you see the contract and all these things is working same. Nothing is you know any any different on that part. If you see that currently I have a two exxi, sorry not exxi, two a virtual machine which is connecting to our uh, Nutanix environment, and they having the contract. And if you go under the exxi, I must have the operation. You know VM learning as well for the VLAN three thousand and VLAN uh, three thousand one. If you see there. It was 3035. So these are the you know some uh, sort of a configuration I have done here is not, not I have a you know uh, fabric interconnect which is connecting to my CI leap switches and on the fabric interconnect I have three four servers and those servers two servers dedicated for the Nutanix two servers dedicated for the VMware environment for testing and all right. So this is overall a picture of that. If you want to uh, check that Kubernetes we have the Kubernetes in integration as well. How we do that? This is the like Kubernetes detail. Once you integrate with the, you know, VXI encapsulation and the, all this exact same uh, read, write, access, all the details, you can get it from you. And you will not be have too much option to do that. Anything creation or deletion, you can just verify the namespace, services, deployment, replica, port details. You can verify all these small, small pieces. But yeah, in future, Cisco may, you know, enhance few things and work on that. Right, and we have Microsoft and all currently just three integration we have, but major thing is Nutanix. Nutanix and VM, if you know the VM, Nutanix should not have any kind of complication uh, uh, during the deployment. And you have this uh, Prisma Central, which will be acting as a V center for you, just like a centralized interface, which provides all the sort of licensing, product licensing, integration, you know, all the sort of, uh, the, the management of the entire uh, your uh, Nutanix environment. I hope this uh, video helped you. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.